Oh my gosh. No cell phone reception, no gimbals. How are we even hiking? Is your ND filter set right at this time? ND filter's just fine, thank you very oh, okay. much. It's checking, it's checking. Uh. All right. Here we are in the rain on the Evan Thomas Creek Trail. Going to see a creek or waterfall? Sure. Cool. How's that gimbal treating you? <laughs> so Daryl forgot the gimbal today and the hiking, the hiking poles. <laughs> <laughs> so we're roughing it. Let's do this. Yeah, we're on the trail. Right. This is a large, wide trail. It's the right trail today. I'm looking at the map. And see the blue dot? Should we go clockwise or counterclockwise on the loop though? I don't know. Which way are you supposed to go? Go to the right. You wanna go to the right or the left? Let's go right. Because that looks like more up. <laughs> we made it to the river and the bridge that I think used to be behind me here, going across, is now over there and slightly broken. So this is a little deep for us to walk through, especially with a young one. So there's a couple other hikers behind us coming up. We're gonna talk to them and see. They went up there and we're wondering if it's impossible anyways. So we're gonna go chat them up and maybe take the other way around. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we're gonna go back to that T in the trail and we're gonna go the other direction and see how far we can get. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, that's the plan. Yeah. Back to the T. Hey! <laughs> well, that's a river crossing we can handle. Yeah, not waste. deep. Look at, it's so humid and moist. Yes, I said it. Then my hair has gone straight. You know, you get to deal with it, Alberta. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we found Narrow on the path here, so we're gonna head down this little trail right here. And no, it's not an Andrea trail. It's a real trail this time. Actual trail. <laughs> hey, friends. All right, we finished the Evan Thomas Creek Loop Trail. However. We did not do a loop today. We made it an out and back trail because the bridge was washed out on one side. And once we made it around to where the waterfalls are, we weren't sure what the train was gonna be like to come back. So we thought, ah, we'll just hike back out the same way we went in. So nice wide trail for majority of the way. When you get up to the top, there are some sticks and rocks making an arrow that points to a narrower trail. You take that trail down and that's what takes you right down by the river and there's three waterfalls hidden back there. So very cool to see. And we walked a little bit in the river, but we weren't really game to have to wade into it. We waist deep all the way back. So we decided to come back this way and yeah, it worked out. It was a good hike. Not too bad, lots of up and down, not too strenuous. We survived. Best part of the hike. Having fun with my family. That didn't seem rehearsed at all. <laughs> it wasn't though. That was awesome, kiddo. The Good answer. Waterfalls. How many waterfalls did we see? Four. Four waterfalls in one day. Uh, walking through the river and getting your feet wet. Um, yeah. Wet. And the downhill part. Downhill for the win. <laughs> and then uphill again. What? What uphill? You like the uphill? That part right there? Yeah, it's a little uphill. Uh, it's not uh, bad though. I was promised all downhill. Downhill on the way home? Yeah. Sorry.
There's when I went through first. I held the trees for you. Uh, no one you held the trees you held, for me. You held the trees for Michaela. You did not hold the trees for me. True. Okay. All right, as we were. All move right. along. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell so you get notified when we make new videos. See you on the next one.